All mm -hmm. right, so I am here with Cybertron. Um, I assume Good most people. Or morning or whatever. <laughs> I assume that most people watching are familiar with who Cybertron is, but if you are not, he is what I would consider to be a, a pioneer in the Genshin modding community. He's really been around since since day one. He's also an, an admin of the, the Discord server, the AGMG Discord server. So if you're not familiar with that, check it out. They recently uh, crossed 50,000 members, so it's... It's growing rapidly and there's tons of cool stuff going on in there. So check it out if you haven't, but, but yeah, there's my intro. And I guess my first question for you is how did you get into modding? Uh, well, I got into modding. It was smash modding first. Uh, I just wanted to get into modding cause, uh, I, mean, I was playing Genshin and I was, I was, I really liked smash too. And I wanted to, uh, you know, to have some Genshin characters in my smash game. So I, I spent two weeks straight just uh, making my first mod, uh, working uh, working on it in like whenever I had free time. Uh, it was definitely difficult, but I, I found it really fun, which is why I continued uh, all the way to, into Genshin modding. I, I started out Genshin modding before 3D Magoto was a thing. Uh, I was doing texture mods, and uh, when 3D Magoto came out, well, obviously I, I jumped on that, uh, no, on that, on that, on that option on. I'm at availability, and I started creating uh, model mods for Genshin, and uh, that's more or less where we're at today, which is, uh, you know, it's cool. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun modding, which is why I haven't already stopped. And uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to enjoy what I do too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's to say the least. I mean, the community has exploded. Um, tons of people are are seeing how fun modding can be, and it's it's a really exciting time. So. So that's very cool. Do you have uh, a technical background? Do you just have like an art background? How does the the skill set kind of play in? Well, when I started modding, I actually really didn't have either a technical nor an art background. I just more or less just I just had a background, and you know, I I I was still in school. You know, I was I was just doing normal lessons. Nobody really taught me anything about you know, anything advanced about programming or drawing. I still can't draw uh, anything like that. I just, you know, I, I jumped into it and I just, you know, taught myself how to do it. Uh, nowadays, I'm definitely leaning more into, you know, programming, stuff like that. I started creating, you know, free camera mods, uh, things like that for Genshin uh, with Metanoder. Check out Metanoder if you haven't. It's not a very well-known tool, but you should look, check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's it, basically. I, I don't really... I did, when I started modding, I didn't really have a background, but I'm learning programming uh, more and more by the day. I see. Very cool. Yeah, there's tons of resources out now to learn basically any skill you want. So it's it's really helpful to to have the community to reach out to. But very cool. So my next question is in terms of what you are a fan of. Do you like anime? Do you like manga? Either of those? Well, I like both, really. I've watched, been watching less anime lately, but uh, I started out watching a lot of anime, and then nowadays I read a lot of manga. I read a lot of, a lot of manhua, you know, Korean stuff, uh, Chinese okay. stuff too sometimes. Uh, I like I like romance manga. <laughs> I like romance manga a lot. Uh, I also occasionally, you know, read, uh, you know, combat stuff too. There's one I'm reading right now, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. It's a manhua. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I've I've read uh, solo leveling. I'm pretty sure that's a popular one. I found it to be pretty like mid, but whatever. I mean, a lot of people like it. Uh, and yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's it. I do like you know, obviously anime games, things like that. Uh, I find those enjoyable. Uh, I've been playing, you know, Xenoblade. It's uh, one of my favorite series at the moment. And uh, yeah. Very cool. That leads me kind of into my next question. There's some exciting new games coming out, especially in the anime game category. You have, I think Project Mugen is the team of one that recently was announced. Wuthering Waves, Zenless Zone Zero. Are any of those on your radar coming up? Uh, Zenless Zone Zero was definitely interesting. I actually got into a beta for uh, Wuthering Waves. Uh, I found it interesting. It's a bit jank uh, with the controls, and I don't know. It's a bit dark. Uh, I don't really like those kind of games. I mean, you know, I played Fallout before. It wasn't really my thing, 
Uh, Project Mugen, actually, it's kind of funny because uh, everybody's been calling that like a Spider-Man mod, but with Genshin characters. <laughs> when I actually did make Genshin mods for Spider-Man, uh, I made the Zhongli mods. That one was pretty popular. I got a few art articles written about it. Uh, so yeah, so I, I made a tweet saying, hey, yeah, you guys should all thank me because, uh, yeah, I, I was the original one. <laughs> uh, uh, that was uh, pretty cool. Otherwise, uh, well, obviously, uh, out of anime games, there's obviously uh, Starfield. Uh, Starfield seems pretty cool, mostly because the modding in that game seems kind of nuts. You can create your own worlds, apparently. Uh, and uh, yeah, obviously, any Nintendo game that's going to come out. Uh, the Mario game that's coming out like next month, I think. Uh, I'm looking, you know, I'm pretty excited for that one, too. And uh, yeah. Cool, yeah, there's so much stuff coming out. It's it's hard to find time to play it all, but yeah, I actually did see that that song Lee Spider-Man on Twitter. That was pretty funny. Yeah. All right, let's see. So in terms of the AGMG community, do you think that with all these new games coming out, there will ever be an expansion to include those? Um, or are you or do you think the community will stay with Hoyoverse titles? Well, it really depends on what you know the tool devs want to do. I'm not really a tool dev myself. Nice. Uh, maybe I could I could do some in the future, but right now I don't. Uh, we are looking to expand to like one game at the moment, uh, another uh, Hoyovas game. Uh, as for the new games coming out, well, it entirely depends on like what they're running on, because you know 3D Magoto itself uh, uses uses some tech that's like kind of required in a game, so we're not sure how those games are made yet. Uh, but it, it works in Unreal or Unity. It just depends on other factors. And uh, yeah. I see. Okay, got it. Very cool. Yeah, 3D Magoto is, is such an impressive tool. I, I very much admire the, the capabilities it has. Yeah. And then I see that you're also somewhat active in AI communities. Um, do you have a, a, an interest in that as well? Uh, it's more of just a passing interest. Uh, I don't, you know, there are a lot of people that seem to want to profit from a lot of the things they do. Uh, it's, it's not the case for me. I don't really want to profit from the a AI stuff. I just find it interesting, you know. Uh, and I also, you know, I, I like seeing what, what it comes up, comes up with. Uh, it also helps, you know, when you're trying to make ideas just to generate something in AI. But, uh, other than that, I don't really, you know, seek to, like, I don't. I don't have any anything more than like a passing interest in AI, uh, nowadays. I see. Yeah. It. There's definitely a financial aspect. I. I picked it up as a hobby, um, and it quickly turned into like a hundred, a hundred fifty bucks a month just in like, Patreon, and then you know you got to buy all the Google Colab subscriptions. So it. It definitely does have that element. I've it. I. I. You know. I've it set up on on my PC, but I. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I haven't really see, sought to profit from it, uh, but I do post stuff occasionally online. I have a DeviantArt account, and I post on that, but yeah. I see. Okay, very cool. All right, that was most of my questions here. Um, I really appreciate you hopping on a call. Is there anything else you'd, you'd like to say? Um, well, let's see. Yeah, like I said, you know, about monetization, there's a lot of monetization going on in the community and we've tried to, you know, uh, we've tried to like limit that a lot. Uh, there are a lot of people that don't seem happy with the results, but I think it's, you know, I think we did decently well. There are no paywall mods, it's just early access mods. And I know a lot of people don't really like early access mods, but you just have to wait a month and it comes out, you know, so, you know, I just, a lot of people seem to complain about it, but, you know, just be patient and uh, it'll come out eventually. And uh, yeah, it, that's it, basically. I totally agree. I think the community is, is built on the, the hard work of others and, you know, paywalling really any step in the process significantly, significantly slows down development. So it, it really puts everyone um, on the back foot. And I think that, you know, it's just a better system to have things to things open to the public. But you said it well, and I really appreciate you hopping on and thank you for, for all the work you do in the server as well as the modding community. And I will speak to you later. All right. Yeah.